Good morning, children. Now, in the previous class, we had studied about separation of insoluble solids from liquids. Today, we'll just recapitulate with these two portions, and then we'll proceed to the next part. Now, why is alum moved over muddy water? Alum is moved over muddy water to increase the weight of the suspended particle, and therefore increase the rate of sedimentation. And this process is termed as loading. Okay. If Billy was stranded on an island surrounded by the ocean, how would he satisfy his fresh water needs? He will be doing it by evaporating or distilling the water, the OC water, so that he gets fresh water or distilled water from there. Right? So now, today we are going to study about how the soluble solids are could be separated from now, the method of separation of soluble solids from liquids. Two main methods are there. Uh, one is evaporation and one is condensation. So now here, in, the, in one case, you can see here that a solution is taken when the heat is given. What happens? The water molecules evaporate. Okay. Even there is another picture here showing evaporation. So there are something very common when you see water vapor rising for from any material, any water that you are heating. Okay. This water vapor is rising because of the process of evaporation. The water changes into its vapor state. So the water has changed to vapor state and what is left is only the solute. How do you know that water has evaporated? When you condense that water, when you bring a colder surface near those vapors, what you will observe is uh, these vapors they condense and again change back to water, okay. which is collected in the beaker. Right? These two processes. This slide shows one such application of getting water or getting salt. Okay. This is again possible by evaporation. So, what is done is the seawater is allowed to stand in such areas for some time and during that due to the heat of the sun the water evaporates as the water evaporates salt in the sea water is deposited here right and this salt is then purified and, and then you get the salt this formation of salt from sea water is an example of evaporation so now the next method of separation is distillation, where we get the solid, the liquid, that is the solute and the solvent both. This is a means of separating soluble liquids from their solutions. Now you can see a distillation flask here, okay, which is connected to a condenser, okay. Now what happens here when the mixture is heated, then the water evaporates and the water vapor passes through this tube. And as it passes, there is cold water flowing in this condenser. And this cold water condenses the uh, water vapor into liquid water. And after all the water has evaporated, you have the salt or the sugar. Whatever is the solute will be remaining in the flask. Okay. Now, why distill? Now, at the end of this process, we get distilled water, which is very pure. It is not having any minerals, nothing. Everything has, is remaining here. So where, why do we use this distilled water? Why do distilled water? We use it for vehicle batteries and also to prepare baby food commercially. Okay. Now to separate two immiscible liquids, we use a separating one, like we had discussed earlier. And even by mistake, suppose oil is mixed with water. So you know that they form two separate layers. Oil forms a layer above and water forms a layer below because oil is lighter. Okay. So what happens now, when these two layers are formed, we can immediately drain out one layer or you can decant it. But the better process is using a separating funnel where in this funnel the mixture is kept. You can see the two form layers. Then we open the stopcock and try to drain out the water from below. Once the water drains out, what is left is the kerosene oil. So then what we do is, we change the beaker below. And we can drain out the kerosene oil also. So by draining out twice, we can separate the two mixtures. 
now we have approximately done with all the methods used for separation so there is an activity for you which you are going to do at home there are four different types of mixtures and you have to separate these mixtures for separation you will be using where is whatever technique you use that has to be mentioned and explained like rava and salt how you explain how you are going to separate it paneer how will you get from milk this you can do with your mother's help okay because you require the gas stove there you can ask your mother to prepare paneer from milk and then you can observe that right and write down the method used then sand and water could be done by you and even how to clear water from get clear water from muddy water 